Hi, this is TK Viper, and today I'm going to talk about the latest version of my iOS MIDI controller. It is now called MIDI Fretboard instead of A Plus MIDI Guitar because I've added other fretboard controllers to it. For example, the bass guitar, the ukulele, the banjo, and even the Japanese shamisen guitar. So you tap it to start playing or shake it for setup. Here's the sound hole, and that's where you strum. Remember, you have to leave the string before you can make a sound, just like on a real guitar. If you rub on the strum area, it's going to vibrate the note. So it's going to produce vibrato, or modulation. There are four frets on the neck. This is fret number one. You can swipe on this mini fretboard to move to other positions on the guitar neck. If you hold down the bar button while you're dragging on the mini fretboard, you will bar that fret. So right now, we are at fret 17 and we've barred fret 16 up here. There's another way to change the fret position. So shake the device to go into settings and down here click on shortcuts and that will give you nine shortcuts on your fretboard you can program these by double tapping them and just choose the fret you want to go to okay uh, set up all your shortcuts and when you're done simply tap on a shortcut and it'll jump to that fret for you and if you swipe away from a shortcut it's going to bar that fret for you now we're at fret 20. Alright, next let's talk about other options. We're going to go from the bottom up. So this one is for setting a timer for fading out notes. You can fade out just the open notes or you can fade out all the notes. As you can tell, all the open notes fade out after 0.78 seconds. Next, setting the time limit for hammer-ons and pull-offs. You have to perform these hammer-ons and pull-offs within this time limit, or else they will not be detected. That's going to work, but if you go really slow, it's not going to do any hammer-ons for you. Sliding all the way to the right will activate tap-on mode, and that will hide the strum area and give you a 5 fret neck to play on. Just tap on the fretboard to start playing. The next slider will let you adjust the key velocity, which is the strength at which you're plucking a string on the guitar. So uh, you can set this to be a fixed value, or you can control it by tilting the phone in the x-axis direction. If you tilt the phone forward, it's going to set this value to be very high, like you're really plucking the strings very hard. If you tilt the phone upwards, facing the sky, it's going to set the value at the lowest, like you're barely plucking the strings. Clicking here will give you access to 96 tuning presets that you can use. The first group is for guitars. There are about uh, 49 different tuning presets. The next group is for bass guitars. And you can see these X's here. What they mean is that uh, those strings will not be seen. So it's basically a four string bass guitar. And if you scroll down, you'll find uh, tunings for five string bass guitars and six string bass guitars. And this section is called Bass when used with Guitar Pro 6. So only use these tunings if you're going to directly input notes into Guitar Pro 6 for making bass guitar tablature. All right, the next group is for ukuleles. And this one is for banjos. There are four string and five string banjos. The Indian sitar tunings are divided into two groups. The first one will give you string 1 to 6, and the second one will give you strings 2 to 7. And here we have miscellaneous uh, tunings for the violin, the cello, the Japanese uh, shamisen, and sanshin. Let's check out this tuning here. By selecting this, you're going to get a three string shamisen. There you go. And now I'm going to show you how to control GarageBand 
with your iPhone through this app. So first you gotta install this DS MIDI Wi-Fi server on your Mac. For Windows users, you need to run a program called Loop B before you run this server. And finally, choose the instrument you want your iPhone to control and start playing. And finally, I'm going to show you how to input notes into Guitar Pro 6 to make guitar tabs or bass tabs. Make sure the tuning inside Guitar Pro 6 is the same as the one on your iPhone. And then click on Sound and MIDI Capture. Make sure this is a DS MIDI server here. And check the box here, MIDI Guitar. And when you're ready, tap on the Record button. <laughs> And if you want to do some tablature for banjo, you have to choose a track for the banjo by clicking here, add a track, and choose banjo. And after you're done, please make sure that the tuning inside Guitar Pro 6 is the same as the one on your iPhone, or else it will not work. <laughs> If you need more info or you want to contact me, click on the first link for online resources. Click on the second link for the built-in user guide. And you can email your friends about this app or Facebook about it. And last, please check out my other apps and rate this app in iTunes. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.